For anybody who doesn't know, I have a completely separate room for my small animals to live safely in. This includes my two rabbits, Lola and Cleo, as well as my Syrian hamster, Dipper, and my Chinese hamster, Waddles. Before we even get into the room, on the outside of the room, I do have this customized baby gate that I purchased from Walmart. Originally, it did not have the white piece. It used to be just mesh, and I replaced it with a solid thing because the rabbits were trying to chew at it. But essentially what it does is it allows me to be able to keep the door open so that I can see them throughout the day. They don't have to be shut away, as well as my cats don't just walk in and out of it. Even even though they could just jump over the gate if they wanted to, my cats actually have literally no interest in jumping over the gate. So when you first walk into the room, I just have this diamond shaped shelf with a bunch of different types of trinkets. On the top we have an every bunny welcome sign and then on the middle shelf to the left I just have the rabbits 100% Timothy pellets mixed with some herbs. And then I have a little Palm Pals hamster, a little rabbit plush, and then on the bottom there is just some little bunny mugs and some hamster figurines. So the first thing that you see when you walk in is my Lavoite Pet Air Purifier. It's currently off so I can film, but it's running 24 seven. I also do have a cord protector on it so that the rabbits cannot harm themselves or damage it. I definitely would recommend everybody who owns small animals to have an air purifier. It helps so much. Then if you just come this way, starting off over here, I have this Ikea storage bin. What this basically has inside of it is just the rabbit's hardwood stove pellets. And that is what I use for their litter, which this is their litter box. This is a long, underneath the bed storage bin that I got from Canadian Tire and it works perfect for a rabbit litter box. So as you can see, I have those hard stove or hardwood stove pellets in the box there and they are amazing for keeping odor down as well as absorbing pee. And Lola here is just munching her hay, which she is eating out of the 101 Rabbits hay box. I love this hay box, it keeps the hay clean. It stores a lot of hay as well, which they currently have the Oxbow Orchard Grass Timothy Hay Mix. Just above that, I have a couple of things on the wall. So the first thing to the left is my 100,000 plaque. And then in the center, we just have some different pictures on this bulletin board here. I've got stickers and little signs and everything. I honestly love this little bulletin board. And then also, it's very convenient, I have my two dustpans hanging. The big one is for the rabbits and the small one is for the hamsters. Moving on to the other things on the wall, I just have over here these four little cube shelves and they have little trinkets inside them as well. So the bottom one is just a little rabbit figurine and then we have one with a glass rabbit figurine as well as a maize and hamster. On top of that is a succulent and a rabbit dish and then we just have a little painting that my friend Emiology's Rats did for me as well as some other little trinkets. Now looking to the left, as you can see, we have the two very large windows. They basically go all the way down to the floor. Um, the one on the left looks frosted. It actually is just a window cling that I recently put on. And it's supposed to make all of the beautiful rainbows that you see when the sun comes through. So just between the two windows, I do have these two hanging plants. The top one is a philodendron and the bottom one is called a corn plant, I believe. Now below that we have our dig box for the rabbits. This was a box that I made myself from just some plexiglass and some birch plywood. Inside of the dig box is just the Living World Comfort Aspen Chips. And Cleo loves going in this and digging. If you have rabbits, I highly, highly, highly recommend having a dig box for them. 
Beside that, we just have part of a Toki castle, um, and this is so that Cleo can get into the dig box. She just jumps up on there and then jumps in the dig box. And then over here, we just have, I think this is a Oxbow toy, if I remember correctly. And then beside that, we just have our Cavi hideout castle here. It has a top floor and then a bottom floor. Lola is absolutely obsessed with sleeping on the top of it. If I can get a video, I'll insert that, but usually she comes out as soon as she notices that I'm watching her. Beside that, I just have my own little play table for the rabbits that I did do a video on. So if you're interested in making your rabbits one, you can check out that video. And then we come up to the wall here, which just has some pictures of the pets and past pets. So we have some of the rabbits on the left. And then we have one of my past hamster, Lenny, one of my past hamster, Bumble, and then one of my past hamster, Tater Tot. And then as well as there is a cross-stitched hamster that I did myself. So then if we just come over here, this is kind of the hamsters corner. So the first enclosure you see here is Dipper, my Syrian hamsters. This is a DIY enclosure that I made and it is two feet by four feet by two feet. Then looking above his enclosure, there are two shelves. On the first shelf here, we just have my security camera that watches the bunnies and overall the room. Then we just have a temperature gauge as well as a humidity gauge so that I'm able to, you know, see if it's getting too cold in here or how dry it is. Behind in the back there, I just have a basket full of different hamster dishes for veggies and things. And then we have a variety of different hamster treats as well as the rabbit's brush, a little tiny baby nail clipper for the hamsters. And then right back there is just three different um, boredom breakers I use for the hamsters. And then beside that, we just have my beautiful spider plant. So then above that shelf, we have a higher shelf that I mainly use for like displaying things. The first thing here is just a book that I was sent. It's such an amazing book. It's called Who Has a Hamster? And if you have any children and you want to teach them about proper hamster care, highly, highly recommend this book. And then beside that, I just have my three hamster carriers. Obviously I only have two hamsters right now, but there are three carriers and that's just, that's gonna continue to stay like that. Then coming over here, we have what looks to be an identical enclosure. And that's because it basically is. This is Waddle's enclosure. And it also is a DIY enclosure that is two feet by four feet by two feet. And then behind the enclosure, I have this arch that I painted on myself. And then above that, we have another shelf. So on this shelf, we have a kitchen scale here that I use to weigh the hamsters. I also just have some homemade boredom breakers I made there. Then we have a variety of different edible things like hamster food, dehydrated carrots, there's some squished peas. We have my herb mixes and some millet spray back there, as well as my Ikea nightlight. And then just a little vase with some amaranth in it. And then we get to my closet. This is just what the closet currently looks like. Yes, it is pretty messy. Um, it's got a lot of hamster and rabbit things all in there, as well as the rabbit's hay and things that I'm currently not using. So it gets a little bit messy. And then coming back around, we kind of have the rabbit's area, which is sort of just in the middle. Um, and they have this carpet as well as they have many different hideouts. So they have a small pet select hideout, as well as they also have this homemade hideout that I painted myself with non-toxic paint. Um, and it has two openings to it, as well as they have their water dish here. This is just a Pyrex glass container I use. 
Um, and then they have just like a variety of different toys. This one right here is just like an enrichment toy. And then they just currently shredded another different toy. <laughs> And that is the pet room. So here is an overall view of the entire room. And the rabbits do live free roam in this room. They do not have a cage. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.